Okay, this video was requested. It's about adding a logo to the bamboo toolbox. This is what we're going to be making here. It's going to be done in Fusion 360. So first we'll get started by downloading the original file. If you don't remember the file name, as long as you remember the file number, you can easily find it on Google just by typing in printables then the number. But this is the box here, the original one. You want to download the file, this one right here. You can download the entire thing since you'll print the whole box. But this is the file we're going to work with, which is the top lid. Once you download the file, then you're going to open up Fusion 360. And you need to import the mesh in. You go up here to insert insert mesh go to the file open then I always do center and then move to ground now right now it is a mesh body so you can't do much with it go to the mesh tab modify convert mesh this will convert it to a body Okay, once that's done, you see it's changed colors. You now have the triangles there can be selected. So we're going to want to import our logo or any SVG onto this top part here. So you just click it, insert SVG. If that's not on by default, then right here, insert SVG. Okay, when you import your SVG, it could come in too large or too small. This little half a circle, well, quarter of a circle, is for scaling up and down. And then you just have all your move controls. You just want to move it into position. Okay, that looks about right to me. Once you're having the correct position, just click OK. We'll rotate this right side up. Click Finish Sketch. Now what you want to do is go inside each of these. You see how it turns blue? And this is what we're going to be working with to make the cuts into the box. Just hold shift and then click each body. We'll do the lettering first. Then you press E to extrude. By default, it's wanting to extrude up, but we need to extrude inward. So it makes a cut. And I generally do this about four layers in. I print it at 0 0.2. So we will do a negative 0.8. Make sure it says cut. See how it switched to the down arrow cutting into the model? Then you click cut. It's now it's cut into it. Now in order to get the logo to come back, the little arrow next to sketches, gonna show the sketch. Then we're just gonna do the same thing.
we can turn the sketch off. As you can see it cut into it. So now we need to extrude it back up so we can get our multicolor. Which all you're going to do is click on the inside. Same thing we did for the sketch. I'm going to break it up into the letters and the logo so I can get different colors for it. You need to extrude. This time we're going to do it as a 0.8 upward. By default, it's going to want to join the two bodies. Click on it, then click New Body. Click OK. And now we have all these bodies here that represent each one of those. To keep things organized, we're going to right click on body, new group. I'm just going to label this letters. And we'll click on the top body, hold shift, click the bottom that highlights them all and just drag it into letters. Now we're going to do the same thing with the logo. And again, it defaults to join. Make sure you change this to new body. Click OK. And now we have the bodies that make up the logo. We're going to do the same thing, put in another folder. Okay, and right there pretty much everything is done. It looks like it's all one, but it's not. Just for our representative. Now this will not determine the color when you slice it, it's just for us to see right now. So that just gives you an idea of what it could look like. Now to export these, what you're going to want to do is go to Utilities. It will be using the Make button right here. If you click the Make button now, it'll export it all as a whole. And that's not what we want. So in order to do this multicolor, you need to hide all the bodies that you don't want for that color. So we'll just click Shift, click the bottom one, click V, which is the visibility. It toggles it off. We'll do the same thing for the logo. So now as you can see, the pieces that were supposed to be here are not being seen. Now we'll do make. Make sure you click the bodies at the top and it shows you the whole piece. Then we're going to export it out. We'll label this one as body. And we're going to do the same thing. Turn off the visibility for that one. Click this, bottom, click V, turns it back on. You can see the logo now. Click the bodies at the top, make, click OK. Label this as logo. And same thing for the lettering. Cancel. Now you see how this one was highlighted. If I would have hit the OK, it would only export the E. You want to make sure you're always clicking on the body when you're exporting it out.
Now, some of you might say you could just toggle on and off the folders, but that doesn't work because the parts themselves are still being visible and they'll export altogether. You have to turn off the individual bodies. But once we've exported that, then we'll jump into Bamboo Studio. Clear that old one out. As for the files, you just want to drag and drop all of them in at the same time. It's going to tell you if you want to load these as a single color, single object with multiple parts. Click yes. At first, you're not going to see anything. It's going to be one solid color. Just head to the objects tab. These are each of your bodies. So we'll make the lettering. We can do it purple. We can just type in two while we're hovering over this, and it changes. Go to the logo. Type in four, and now you have your multicolor part. Just slice and send to printer. And there you go. Thank you for watching.